Hey, welcome to Spotlight Creator Studio and in this lesson we are going to create our first chapter and also I will be showing you the navigation around the chapter and all the basic things you should know. Click here to create a new chapter. Each chapter should have a title and an introduction. But you don't have to write it right away because you can go back and change it anytime after. You just have to click on the three dots, chapter information, then you can change it and save. Here the version history. Every time you save the new chapter, it will appear here. And we will come back to it later. Now let's enter our chapter. You can either click on the edit button or just click on a chapter. First, let's see what we have around. Here on the left side, we have the preview. Here you can choose if you like to track script or not, if you want to mute the audio or not. Click here to add emojis to your script. Here down below you can see the buttons you are going to use for directing your story. And now let's see the library. You can click hide lip if you want a bigger amount of space here on the script or show lip to see it back. Click on this arrow if you want a bigger preview of everything. Same as with the characters and outfits you can add to your favorites. You can see two tabs here, assign new scene and assign scene. The main difference between them is that assign scene, they are a bit realistic and assign new scene backgrounds have new spotlight art style. Click here to select what type of backgrounds you would like to use or just search with the keywords. For for example kitchen or lobby and browse through them. Here in the private tab you can add your own backgrounds. Click import and select backgrounds. Choose the backgrounds you would like to upload and open. Before uploading the background you should give it a name you want. Remember that you cannot use special symbols in file names. Here you can see the parameters, the size and how many pixels, what format can you upload to Spotlight. After uploading the background, you will see them in the reviewing tab and you should wait until they're approved. After your background is approved, you are going to see the pop-up notification here and you just click and see that your backgrounds were approved. You can mark them all read and let's go back to our chapter. So now you will see the backgrounds under the private tab. The next one, character animations. Here you can choose the body type you want to preview and what kind of animation you are looking for. You also can use keywords. And if you like some particular animation, you can add them to your favorites. Then sounds. There are two types of sounds on Spotlight. BGM stands for background music and sound effect. The main difference between BGM and effect is that BGM plays on the loop. So once the sound is over, it will start play from the beginning. All sound effects play just once. Same as with other features, you can add sounds to your favorites. Then outfits. Here you can see all the outfits you have made for your story. Next, static objects or overlays. There are two types of static objects on Spotlight, normal PNG overlays and effects. Here on Assign Prop you can find some really nice effects, for example those hearts or some magic effects. Same as usual, you can add them to your favorites. Click here to view the additional library. Spotlight also has vehicles. You can find boats, helicopters, cars, buses, all type of vehicles and the angles you would like to use. And there is also the effect tab. Mostly weather effects like rain or frost, fog is here. Then part. Let's switch to the side view. I feel like it will be a bit better. And let's move the kitty over here. Choose character which part you would like to preview and choose the part. You are going to use it during the customization inside the script. For example, if your character changes hairstyle or you want to give your character a makeup, you are going to use this part. And last, script examples. It is empty for now, but more updates are coming, so stay tuned. And last but not least, the most important part, in the process of writing, don't forget to save your script. Also, remember the history I mentioned in the beginning of this video. You can see all the history and you can see all the versions I have made within this chapter. You can favorite them and add some remarks so you know what kind of version of your script is it. That's it for the chapter creation. Follow our YouTube channel for more tutorials and I see you in the next video.